and Lion Volpine here, and welcome to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress on the Steam version. Sorry, we have to do display capture because it's not capturing with game capture, unfortunately. Hopefully that gets sorted out at some point, but welcome to play, Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, the Steam version. Pretty excited for this. We've been waiting for this for quite a long time now, but uh, it's finally available to actually buy the game that's been free forever. <laughs> and not that that's a bad thing, that's actually a good thing. We want to be able to support the devs beyond just, you know, the usual donation. But uh, let's get started here. So what I wanted to do with this stream is to try the tutorial that I've been told is in the game. However, I actually don't know if there is one. I've just been told there is, and looking at this kind of looks like maybe not. Oh, you know what? The display capture is not cropped right. Hold on. Just gonna grab it, uh, reset transform. Then we should be good to go. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Prepare to guide your stout charges from fortune in a world fraught with many perils. You'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth deep in the mountains. As you dig deeper and more citizens take residence in your outpost, your doings will attract attention, both wanted and unwanted. Deal with these challenges as they arise, and you might one day be find that your humble settlement has become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. All right. Medium world seems fine. 100 years also seems fine. 250 years, then the world generation starts taking too long, so I don't think we're going to mess with that. Mineral currents. Yeah, they've changed the base settings, because normally it's like frequent or something for mental occurrence. So, a little bit set to easy mode, but that's fine by me. It's a great world, that's usually how I set things because Dwarf Fortress is really hard. <laughs> see, if I've heard that they've sped up the world generation process, so that'll be interesting to see. Oh, and we got the, the new tile set too. Absolutely wild. Oh, this is really quick. Oh, my poor CPU, it's it's streaming too, instead of the, the GPU, so it's doing both both loads today. 100 years was not that bad at all. All right, play now. I don't know when we'll get the possibility of a tutorial button here. Mm-hmm. Inventor mode is not here yet. Good to know. Legends mode is. But we'll do Fortress, of course. Ah, uh, here we go. Quick start and short tutorial. This is a short tutorial, so it might not even cover the two hours I'm going to stream here, but we'll see. Would you like your fortress located in a forested, mineral-rich region of this world where you can play through a short tutorial? Non-interactive help will be available whenever you decide, or whatever you decide. Start the tutorial. Oh, you're putting me up way in the frozen zone? I'm not sure that's a great idea, game, but we can do that. I think everything's going to be iced over. Oh, it's very bright because it's snowy. <laughs> so I can uh, ban someone real quick. Unwanted commercial content or spam. All right. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Unglit Test. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes subsistence, whether by bolt, pl plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expected a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now, enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the grizzly bears get hungry. A new chapter of Dorian history begins here at this place. Kuba Kikath. Lance Stark, what? I'm Lance. Strike the Earth. All right, camera controls. Review is focused on one elevation at a time. To move the camera around, play W, S, and D, or hold the middle mouse button and drag the view. Uh, that's neat. The mouse controls are going to be the big change. 
It's a little bit choppy, but it is less choppy than doing this. Ooh, I, I think I just moved up a layer on accident. I think I just moved up two layers on accident. Okay, change the candle's elevation, press C or roll the mouse wheel. I think rolling the mouse wheel worked in the other game. Or in the original. Use in there above other tiles, you can see them below. But you can only interact with objects at your current elevation. The view will be dark underground until you begin mining. That's this. You can move the camera to the surface the F1 hotkey. Just have to be careful that it's not tied to something else. You can zoom in and out of the play area using these boys. Okay. I'll stay a little bit zoomed in for the case of the stream here. Playing by myself, though, I might want it like this. It's time to get to work. Let's start by digging a stairwell into the ground. There may be plenty of hillside to dig into, but you'll want to seek wealth below the surface. Mine tasks are designated on the play area. Okay, the music's too loud. Calm down, game. Calm down. Realize it's very exciting to be playing Dwarf Fortress, but you don't need to be this loud. It's not as loud for you guys when I'm talking, but when I'm not talking, it's going to be loud. Stair mining. Already selected. Okay. Let's build out on this outcrop here. Uh, must span multiple elevations. That is not true, so I don't know how I feel about that one. That doesn't feel right. Break down your selection of span multiple elevations. That's a little weird. I'll have to get used to that. Because in the base game, you just put either a downstair and then an upstair below it. But it seems like now it's kind of like all tied together into one thing. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that one. Well, now unpause the game and let the miner finish the task. Press space to unpause. Or use the highlighted controls at the top of the screen. Oh, way up there. Okay. Pause regularly starting out. Yeah, that's fine. Immediately things are thawing out for springtime here. We didn't get to assign our doors at the start for the tutorial, so... I don't know who exactly we've got here. There we go, he's done the job. Let's make a safe place to work. Select regular mining mode. To the left of the stair mining mode. Drag a rectangle underground big enough for a large stockpile and some workshops. Consider that most workshops are 3x3 three three squares. Mining through the stone layers further down may take longer, but leaves boulders, which are an essential building material. Later, you consider making a meeting area from the zones menu. Otherwise, your citizens will continue to gather by the wagon outside. All well, self-explanatory. We'll do that. WAS and I gotta get used to using the, the middle mouse here. WAS and D is a little aggressive. So I would say this is how I usually about how big I make the workshop zones and things like that. The grid is nice. Not normally a grid with most of the uh, tile set mods. Sort of a lot of tasks I'm putting out here, but that's okay. Okay, should be good. I would like to get ahead of the game. <laughs> and, uh,. I was like, we need to get the other people working too. But we'll just follow the tutorial for now to see if it's fine. It's going to wait. It's going to 
sink a lot of time though. So it'd probably be my first like issue with the game, I would say. With the tutorial, I should say. Is uh it should probably be telling you to do other things while this mining is taking place. Here we go. The supplies on the wagon are in danger of being carried off by wild creatures. It's time to build a stockpile underground to unload them. Stockpiles are crucial to moving supplies around your fortress where they are needed. Stockpiles are placed with a stockpile button. It's down there. Okay. One thing I'm going to do, though. How do we clear a job? Is it this? No, it's not letting me do it right now. Problem number two. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully our dwarf is smart. And he won't go... He won't go trying to mine these. Instead, he'll finish this off. I'd like for him to finish this room before I make the stockpile. Hello, cat. It's nice to know that we got some cats with our uh, squad here. What are these? Shop tiger iron. A storm has arrived. So those are our alerts. Okay. Place a stockpile. Spies in the wagon are in danger of being carried off by wild creatures. It's time to build a stockpile underground to unload them. Stockpiles are crucial to moving supplies around your fortress. Oh, we already read that. Click and add. And click two corners of a rectangle somewhere safe. To place your pile, stockpiles can be placed both on the surface and underground. Once the pile is placed, click accept. And the all option. I don't know about it having the all option. Unpause, your workers should start unloading the wagon into the stockpile. Later, you'll want to customize your stockpiles by clicking on them and pressing the custom button to forbid certain categories like refuse, for example. Separate refuse stockpile is a good idea for your fortress. The stockpile menu is still open. You can close it now. By right-clicking, right-clicking will always be used to close most windows. That's good to know. And escape. Let's see. I would like to customize it now. Nice the tutorial for a minute. Don't put wood in there. Oops. Custom. Right-click is turn off. I'm guessing this is covering buttons that I need access to, unfortunately. Woodcutting. Another little problem. Shelter underground. It's time to build. First, you need better building materials like wood or boulders. Before you stop chopping down trees, you may want to create a dedicated wood stockpile. Hunters will return to drop wood in your all stockpile unless you turn it off in the custom stockpile menu when you're ready. Can I move this? Make sure your woodcutter can walk to the nearest designated location. Like, I would like the stockpile to be custom. But I think, like, our buttons that I need are up here. There we go. That was just a guess. <laughs> Stone. Gems. We want cut ones, but we don't want rough ones. Then I think we're good. I think everything else can go in there. And then it wants us to make a wood stockpile. So let's put it near our entrance here. Like clicking the accept button might be a little redundant, but that's okay. There's our wood stockpile. Okay. Chop trees. Chop those. I feel like I'm clicking three times when I should only have to click twice, but that's okay. Whoa. Yeah, I gotta get used to clicking and dragging here.
I just need to wait for the woodcutter chop down the tree. If the fallen logs are accessible, everyone will help store them in the stockpile. Can right click on the woodcutting mode, right click, close the most menus. Okay. Now you have the building materials. It's time to start building. Workshops are the many buildings you can place with the highlighted build button. Click it now. Carpenter's Workshop. To wait for our miner to get a little bit more work done here. But we don't have to, but I would like the Carpenter's Workshop to be near the access to above ground. I need a dumping stockpile for this stone. It's, it's unfortunate we're digging straight into stone. That's actually pretty bad. And pause. The worker should now build a workshop. This worker is done. Click on the building to select it. Your industrious citizens will perform any tasks added to the workshop. Most objects that are placed, like doors and furniture, must first be built in the workshop. Furniture created at a carpenter's workshop usually takes one wood to build. Add a task to make a bed. Chop down more trees if necessary. Unpause and wait for the bed to complete. Yeah, it's unfortunate we're digging straight into stone. That means we're not going to be able to farm right away. Can farm outside, I suppose. We'd have to harvest some stuff, though. Now you have a bed. You can place it in the place. <laughs> now you have a bed. You can place in it the fortress. <laughs> okay. And use the build menu to place it in a room underground, just like the workshop. Dig a new room first. If you like, beds are found in the furniture category. Unlike workshops, beds must be placed underground. That's fine. Had a pause. Animal has become to, grown to become a stray mule. That's right, we need to pasture things here soon, too. The weather has cleared. Weird that some of our pops are already, like, happy. Normally, they're all the same uh, mood to start with. It takes a long time for them to change their mood, so they must have changed that. All right. This will be our bedroom. Place a bed. Fortress, use the build menu. Labor menu? Not seeing anything flashing. This? Okay. It's weird that it wasn't flashing. Stuff was flashing a minute ago. Bed. Bed place your workers will have somewhere to sleep later. You can then create a room with a door. Use the zones menu to create official bedroom for each resident. Resident. The rest of the interface is now available. You can click the creatures and items, just as you can click on buildings to get more information about them. Click on a resident to see their needs, inventory, thoughts, relations, and more. You can also access information from the citizens menu. You need to pause and check the field. Check out the information. Right click to dismiss the information street. The hell is pusillanimous? <laughs> Disdains commerce, frail, clumsy, not creative, good analytical ability. Up the proficient planter, proficient record keeper. Euphoric due to enumeration. Llama wool dressed. Leather trousers. So here's where we can toggle some tasks. This is not all jobs, though. I wonder if there's less available jobs in the build right now. 
We'll see. Important, sometimes urgent information is given in the alerts on the left side of the screen. There's been one already. Hover over the alert icon to see the information. Left click on an alert for recentering options and right click to dismiss the alert. White. Said so right click. Oh, okay. Ming needs supplies before the coming winter. To trade with the autumn caravan, you must be able to trade depot from the build menu. Main need you need something of value to trade. Crafts are an easy way to make a lot of trade goods quickly. Make the appropriate workshop with the workshop crafts. Obvious material to make the crafts is rock. If you dig down enough layers, you'll find near infinite amount of boulders of various kinds as well as some rough gems if you're lucky gems could be cut at the jeweler's workshop and crust on them on crafts and better another uh, but other items to add even more value there's a lot more to learn as you enter new menus there will be information and tips okay the help button at this at the screen at the top of the screen contains more guides click it now and the tutorial will be concluded This game is open-ended. You can do whatever you choose. If you'd like a goal, try to become a barony and then a mountain home. More likely, your doors will starve unless you read the first few guides here. <laughs> I was going to say, like, that wasn't enough. And remember, losing is fun. There's some food on the Embark Wagon. You can trade for food, but there's you can also grow your own. The wagon comes with some seeds, but you might expect these crops must be grown underground. Using mining orders... You need to carve out a rectangular area underground for your farm plot. The underground rectangle must be on the surface where there is soil, loam clay, or sand. One level dancer suffice before you hit rock. The highest mountain elevations do not have soil. Make sure to leave the ceiling above intact so the underground soil doesn't receive any light. With the subterranean floor exposed, you can place an underground farm plot that isn't rich soil, but will suffice for now. Dig deeper to find better soil. I didn't know that. So there's better... the That one layer, the cave layer, has better soil, I guess. I didn't know that. Selecting farm plot from the build menu in the workshops. Place the farm plot in the subterranean soil. You need to select the crops to be grown for each season. Click on the farm plot you placed to bring out the farming menu. Pump elements are edible and default wagon comes with them. Elemental spawn, which are their seeds. Note that you can obtain above ground seeds from trade by eating gathered plants, but above ground farming exposes your planters to danger and elements. Now, your planters that can access both the farm plot and the spawn will plant the field. After a period of growth, they'll be harvested. If you like to focus a few of your sentences on farming, to give them skill benefits, you can assign them to the planters' work detail from the labor menu. Fertilizer and skilled planters have a direct... Ooh, there's fertilizer now. Have a direct impact on comp yield. These effects have pronounced... Are more pronounced deep underground where you can locate the cavern biome. Yeah, there we go. Cavern biome is rich soil. Potash is a fertilizer of choice. It can be created in the ash using ash from wood burned in a wood furnace and a water source zone in a bucket are required. Fertilizer is not needed to farm. Okay, well, there's no silt stone. Is that? Silt is. I don't know about silt stone. Sand. Sand is growable on. I'm just thinking we might have to uh, make a new game anyway. I lost track of where arms would be. Free Depot. None of these really scream farm to me. Let's pop that back open. <laughs> Workshops, farming, farm plot. Oh, 
Oh, geez. Okay. It's weird to call it a workshop. I don't know about that. That's a weird decision. Okay, this is not Soiler Med, so we basically need to start a new game. We can get weird with it, but... So I'd say that is a bit of a problem with the tutorial is that it can put you in a place that doesn't have soil. It's pretty bad. And then the fortress to ruin. Derp. Be a loading bar on that screen to make sure that people know that something is happening there. I only knew something is happening because my computer revved up. <laughs> All right. Create a new world. This is fine. So we're already off the tutorial stuff. <laughs> Bit short. There is the whole help menu, but... I don't know. I think there is still a business for YouTube creators to make a <laughs> tutorial video series. Let's put it that way. Now we're just going to try to learn our way around the, the new systems in the game. Now we have better icons. We can kind of tell what's going on here a little bit. Hey now. The reason my eyes are really dry today. Bit of a pain. All right, fortress mode. No tutorial this time. If this is your first time playing. Please heed the embark warnings about aquifers. No, I thought they were gone. Salt water and other hazards. Some locations are challenging even for experienced players. It'll be a very short game indeed if you don't know how to deal with them. After you embark, it is available by pressing the help button on the top right corner, including all the tutorials. Okay. Find an embark location. Fluxstone, yes. Spirit's a new one. I really want no aquifer, but I can live without it. Less than or... Less than or equal to deep seems fine. Like for there to be clay. Sand. Sand and soil are sort of the same thing. I'm kind of fine with either. Well, we can search for specific stuff. A little wild. It's unfortunate you can't search for coal, though. If you could find coal, that would be really good. No aquifer, though? So you'll probably... You'll probably come up with no locations, but let's try. <laughs> There's usually aquifers everywhere. Some potentials in here. Here too, but these are mountains. And these are sparse. That might work. Might be able to live with light aquifers and be fine. As we're so dry today, man. Just woke up too. It's not like I've been up for a really long time. Anyone's guess what's happening behind this screen? Yeah, it's usually the, the foothills. Oop. Foothills of the mountains that have the locations. Okay. Still use the middle mouse button. That's good. Jungle of Armories. <laughs> Tropical, moist, broadleaf forest. It's hot. 
It's always a bit of a problem. About this. Conifer forest. Temperate. Heavily forested. Untamed wilds is always scary. Stream. Oh, wow. It actually just tells you what's there. Iron, gold, silver, copper, zinc, flexstone layer. Seems pretty good. That's a mountain. Don't really want to be on a mountain. I think this is our spot. Whoa. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. It's not what I thought it was. <laughs> See, how do we zoom back out? There we go. All right, let's change. No aquifer is fine too, but. Make it less than four by four, it might have better luck. Can do no clay. See how this works. And then I'm never sure how the soil thing works. I don't know. Like it's less than or equal to deep, which should mean any soil is fine. But they might have <laughs> their less than and equal to mixed up because people do that a lot. They are interpreting this as greater than or equal to deep than saying it needs a crap ton of soil. Which won't be good won't be good for our organs. More places now. We'll just have to work with aquifers. It's interesting that they're separated between light and heavy now. I don't know how bad a, a light aquifer is. Willing to give it a shot. Okay. Let's see. So these are probably like elf towns, would be my guess. These weird icons. Hello, furry man 625. Get rid of this. Yes. Scorching. That's too hot. Is it so dang hot? How about up here? Okay, we got some options here. Hostile goblins. A day's travel southeast. Hello, Clay, Salo, Shand. Let's do this here. Oh, how do we? I like that the map looks like this now. This actually looks like a real map compared to the, uh, the old game. Bark. Oh, this is really handy. It was such a pain in the butt to like get a specific location in this game before. White aquifer, the water might need to be pumped out or carried away. Sure. Okay, normal enemies is fine. It'd be nice if there's an easy enemies option. Let's prepare for the drink carefully and see what this menu's like. Now, it would be really nice for this menu. It sort of has it. If we can see their, their interests. It doesn't tell us like what they what they would be good at though. If it would tell us like what they would be good at in this menu, that would be really nice. Cause uh Dwarf Therapist, that mod, would tell you what this is like what they're best at. I can do my best to guess. 
problem is like most of them have like really really bad things Cover slowly clumsy <laughs> this name's hard work values artwork probably not gonna worry about it too much and just assign people social Amiris. You should probably be like our leader. So our leader I mean the leader they're also going to be our trader. Then, to keep yourself busy, you are going to be our Fisher Dwarf. Curious over Baron Cruel. Creative. You should be probably our Mason. Our Mason Stone Cutter. Stone carver. Wait, wait, what's the difference between stone cutting? That's a new one. Is that for like cutting blocks? Because that used to be masonry. Huh. I don't know what stone cutter is. I guess we'll put some points into it. What else do we got? Not dutiful, humorous, trusting, self control. He'll be our farmer. Planter. Now, what about the resource gathering stuff? Herbalists. That's what I was looking for. Farmer and herbalists. Wasteful. Dislike leisure time. If we make you a miner, you're going to be mining most of the game. Which might be good. You disdain hard work, so you probably don't want to be the miner. You've got low stamina. You know what? I'm going to make you the miner, because no one wants to be around you. <laughs> make you the proficient miner. Yeah, skilled miner. And we'll also give you the uh, the one where you build buildings. I don't know which one it is though. Architect. I make you the mechanic. Well, you gotta find the person who's creative to be the architect. These should probably be in alphabetical order now. Now that they're separated onto tabs anyway, like they don't need to be in like grouped together by like what they're about. I'm just like not seeing it. It might not be in the game, but I think it's think it should be in the game somewhere. Maybe it's gone. It could be gone because you do need it to build the the depot. So that would be one of those things that would like trap new players is not having someone who can build the depot. Good spatial stance, low stamina. 
Resilience. Tough. Okay, you're going to be my hunter. Once we find it. <laughs> Labor. Ambusher. We're going to give you Butcher, wherever it's at. Again, should probably be sorted in alphabetical order now. Animal Dissector, did they combine it? What's over here? I don't know. It's a bit strange. Butcher and then Mark's dwarf, I think. Mark's dwarf. Dodger. Armor user. That way you can hunt and everything. Then this means you are going to be our food maker, cook, and brewer, wherever that's at. Jesse, it's time to cook. You can also fish clean while you're at it. Still brewing. Usually it's right next to cooking. This is cooking both food and water now? Food and drink? It's over here. That doesn't make sense. The food and brewing should really be next to each other, man. <laughs> oh, we're missing something. What am I missing? I've got armor, stonework, oh, go wood cutter. Wood cutter, carpenter, wood crafter. Okay. That took longer. Took longer than in the base game. This These need to be put in alphabetical order now that there's tabs. We're just going to find an anvil ourselves. We only need one axe. We only need one pick. Going to drop 10 rum for 10 ale. So we're going to grab a fine wine. Fine beer. Ears itchy. Ugh. All right. All right. I wonder if uh, the spider silk stuff is still cheaper. Spider. Spider silk bags. They are indeed cheaper. Grab those instead of those. Thread. Oh, it's nice that these windows stay open. I don't have to. I don't have to go back and forth, opening and closing the menu. Rope. Hold on, I got the, I got the button for this. Rope. Rope. Oh, so we can take five. Over. Uh, we can make new buckets. New buckets, splints, and crutches will be easy to make. Same with the wheelbarrow and everything else. Okay. Now we need a copper crossbow, a copper bolts, and we 
we need to go ham on the seeds here. Like shift click or anything, doesn't seem like it. That's a bit unfortunate. It's okay. I'm sure it'll come at some point. Rock nuts are just a snack that kind of disappears quickly. Dimple cuts. Pigtails is for like planting, so I don't need quite as many as those. Or not planting. Obviously, they're for planting, but they're for tailoring, which is not quite so valuable. Plump helmets, though, are the back backbone of society. <laughs> okay. Grab more meat. Okay, we want cheap meat. Some yak meat. By the way, little hint and trick. Oh, that's like super expensive. <laughs> I was looking at the wild boar stuff, and for some reason I thought the other stuff was uh, cheap too. So the trick with this stuff... It's a hungry head. These must be underground creatures or something. There's a lot of food. Oh no, dog. <laughs> All right. Donkey hearts. So the trick with food is you get new barrels, free barrels to store things in. By getting like a little bit of everything. Each one gets put in its own barrel. So that's why you want to grab like more different types of food instead of tons of one. It's the same reason why I got more types of uh, alcohol, too. So, with that dealt with, what do we have left here? I feel like I'm forgetting things. Well, we do know. How about animals? Are they here or are they... Oh, they're over here. Okay. The more you know. Get me a war dog male. Get me a hunting dog female. Get me a male and female cat. Let's see. Ram and ew. Ew. Actually, goats are pretty cheap. Nanny goat and billy goat. Couple of those. Give me four hens and a rooster. Actually, probably be two roosters just in case one gets killed. Rabbits. Two black rabbits, four doe rabbits. Fortunately, that cave spiders are no longer tameable animals. I have a lot of points left, which tells me I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? More fish. Cave lobster. Already got the plump helmets. So are there good seeds? No. They must they must have give you more starting points, because I can't see. I guess give me my anvil back then. It's pretty important. Give 
me some blocks just so I don't have to make them right away. Let's see. Guess you can't get gears. Eight seven. Two mugs. <laughs> There's a surprising amount of points left over here. Kind of has me thrown off. Mine are better, I guess. It's not showing any points on this screen. That's what's different. Okay. I understand now. So they've separated skill points from the rest. Wait, each character gets its crap done. Holy cow. <laughs> this is insane. Actually, you need... You should be a better shooter. I want to spend all my points, but I'm also like, I want to get into the game here. I didn't realize that... They were going to have infinite points. You know what? You need more like negotiation skill stuff. You can learn how to be an at a record keeper too. Even though you're my miner. Jeez, man. I think at this point we're just gonna just gonna leave it like it's this is too much. New group. I don't know. Name the fortress and stuff, but that's okay. I am ready. New chapter. Let's see. Giant wolves. That's scary. Ere the giant wolves get hungry. Brass sculptures strike the earth. Okay. So I think we're in a untamed wilds, which uh, they're scary. Let's see, I want to zoom in, zoom out a bit. It's a little. Okay. We have a nice place to dig into right here. So let's do that. Dig into the wall instead of... Uh... Digging straight down. Chop trees. Around us. Zones. Pop up. Zones are areas where you designate your citizens to work, socialize, rest, or perform specific duties. There are several kinds of zones which you can use in the panel on the left. Zones are placed much like stockpiles. Unlike stockpiles, multiple zones can overlap. Certain zones, like bedrooms, can be placed at a time. Just make sure you have correct furniture placed in the rooms with doors or vertical entries separating each room before you can begin. Inner pasture, please. Okay, pasture 
there. Except, let's see. Select the animals to be placed in the zone. This is a, this was a nice new interface upgrade too. This one was always annoying. Always annoying to deal with. Okay. I assume they are assigned still good. Okay. Should be fine. Let's unpause and hope people don't get eaten by giant wolves. Kind of curious. Can we see others? Okay. Snapping turtles, alligators, giant red squirrels, <laughs> ravens. You know what we want? Plant gathering orders. Yes. Keep our, uh, keep our farmer busy for now. Good. We're gonna have to get rid of these upward slopes so that our base isn't totally unprotected. Get mine. Yeah, we can do this. That's good. Like that seems about right to me. Okay, so the miner, we need you. I'm curious if they can. Only do a sign task. Okay, that's a nice new little feature. I'm still confused here though, because we just looked at the skills list and it's huge, right? But here, on like assigning work, there's a very few things here. So I don't know. I'll be curious once like Door Fort or Door Therapist is updated for this game. Limonite. Something's telling me that's actually a good resource. All right, let's see. I should be able to fit that in there. Just making sure it would fit before I did it. Not do out the other side yet. Let them focus. I uh, see this time all seven dwarves are middle of the road mood. So I guess the tutorial mode must give you a mood bonus to some of your dwarves. And that's what I would say. Just hoping that no one catch in the central swamps. It's fine. Still, everyone is not doing things, so just harvest more things, please. Chop more trees. Destroy the local ecosystem when we just got here. That's what dwarves do best. Nah, that's what humans do best. Let's be real. Don't like you fishing way out here. It's kind of scary. Oh, we need to assign the work animals. We need to see how that's done. So you, it's usually out of labor. Work animals, war dog. Then I gotta find my hunter. Looking for a dude with a crossbow. <laughs> Let's see, units. Let's 
Should be the butcher. You can gather plants. How do I select you? You don't have ambusher. Yeah, this was like what I was curious about. Like, how do I get him to ambush things? Didn't I give you ambushing? I did not. I couldn't find it. Oh, there it is. Other skills are adequate ambusher. See, I'm not dumb. It's weird. Oh, that's the dog. Okay. So, like, everyone can harvest plants and stuff. I don't know how I feel about that. It keeps them from not doing nothing, but it keeps them from focusing. The sturgeon is fighting. There's a sturgeon here attacking my guy, and the war dog killed it, I think. <laughs> that's why I assigned the war dog to him, is there's, like, alligators in the water. Not find path. And how would I find? Objects. Might be objects. Uh, work orders. Orders are used to automate tasks and workshops. Details are one way you control which workers do which tasks. They're the only way to assign certain tasks like mining, woodcutting, hunting, and fishing. Generally, almost every task will be available for every citizen. You can both restrict. You can both restrict both citizens and. That's a weird phrasing. And tasks. Citizens are contracted or restricted by using their specialization button. Tasks are restricted by setting the work detail to only. Only select to do this. If a task does not have a default work detail, you can create the work detail. Once you assign citizens to the task, you can then set only select to do this. If you want to restrict it. Okay. <laughs> Standing orders. Refuse. Falling. Sieges. Forbid. Forbid. Uh, that's probably why the it wasn't on by default. So they can clean walls and stuff now. Doors, other. Don't know about automatically clip webs. Let's turn it off. Don't weave thread automatically. I wonder if the. I don't see the gems. There's a setting to make it so like auto cut gems, which is just very nice to have. All right. Stockpile everything. Ooh, oops. Oh, now I can learn if we can like, oh, never mind. If we can expand stockpiles in like an easy way, but never mind. All right, you're an all stockpile, but you're also custom. No wood. Hey, I can see these buttons now. None wood, none stone, none corpses, none refuse, not rough gems. Oh, hold on. Odd. You'd think it would correspond to like 
which list. But apparently it doesn't. All right, that should get people busy. Oh, no stone. Is that on? Yeah, it's off. Then we will need a stock, or not stockpile. We need a zone for... Show me that again. We need a dumping stockpile. I hope that they are infinite like they used to be. <laughs> Garbage dump. Now, how do I select things for dumping? Here it is. Disney items for dumping and melting. See if that works. Oops. Okay. All right, Miner. Let's get you back to work here. I think that's right. Yep. Looks like it to me. Build me a wall. Really intense combat noises for the fact that we're fighting a sturgeon. Like catapults and stuff going off. I like to zoom to location. Recenter on certain announcements. Right click to click. Like specific announcements I gotta click on. Uh, they're walking over the river. Okay. Jeez, oh, man. Wish you weren't venturing out that far. It's kind of scary. I have to build a bridge sooner than later here. Okay, it's going to retract this way. That's a nice new interface. Unless I mess it up. This way. Well, I'll keep people from... I don't want them crossing through the water. It's very easy for them to die doing that. Waiting for construction. Who, who are you waiting on, though?
this bridge built for me, brother. I think so. No, I made it so you can only do the task. The war sounds are insane. <laughs> and I really wish you guys would stop crossing the water here. What was that? Please stop crossing the water there, please. So dangerous, man. That's the problem of bringing hunters and fishers. Like, it's really nice to get that extra food income, but. Damn, this is not soil either. Gonna have to learn how to do the floodgate thing. I'm pretty sure we embarked on a place with like clay and soil, but it's not here. <laughs> Loam there. I don't know. A little concerning. Here. Presumably, back here, there might be some. I hope so, at least. It's the dead surgeon. Okay, the bridge is done. Hopefully, they'll just use that now. I don't know if it's close enough, though. Really? There's like two pieces of rock here. God damn. Oh well. Oh well. Workshops, farming, farm plot. We also need other workshops, so... What? These these rooms are not as big enough. Good thing I made extra ones, I suppose. I usually make them so they're big enough to fit nine buildings in, but they're only big enough to fit four right now. Oops. That's not good. Just have to build extra rooms, I suppose. It's because we're zoomed in. Like, this seems like the right size, but it's not. Let's put all the food ones in here, I guess. Fishery. Kitchen. Carpenter. Is 
What's our craft source workshop going to be? Vermin catcher shop. What? Capture and train small creatures? That's new. It's just called crafts. It's not called crafts dwarfs anymore. Crafts. Craft. Workshop. Gonna need mechanics sooner than later. Jeweler? No, I don't have a stone worker yet, right? think. Yeah, it means that this stockpile is not not as big as I would hope either. Okay. Dump. Helmets. That still happens. Construction suspended. Resume construction, please. There was like a stone in the way. One's dumping things. I want everyone planting. Something that I feel is like not quite right. Really, everyone's labor's got to be locked, but... Understand a little bit. <laughs> so, stone cutting, like smoothing. Suppose so. Planter should be planting. Is it planted? It didn't really change for things being planted. Oh, we also gotta make sure it's all seasons. Use an all seasons button. It might be here, but I don't see it, so. Is 
that was in the base game to be able to plant things here all season. It only says there's six things planted there, but there's 12 tiles. That's annoying now it's locked unlock there we go okay zone that was weird Clicked on that several times and it did not accept. That's our new meeting area. This one. Deconstruct the wagon, please. People haul things for a bit. They're kind of behind. Assignments. Work details. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Go to him specifically. It's not really in the cards. You're assigned to wood cutting. Does this mean you will not build, though? Because assumedly you would be working on this. Instead, you're hauling things. So what if I... <laughs> it's like a whole new thing, man. We gotta get everything figured out. If I turn off your hauling and or that's the wrong person. King four woodcutter. No more hauling, no more orderlies. Now will you build the thing or will you just do nothing now? You appear to just be doing nothing. Okay, so I don't like this new system then because it's not right. <laughs> Workers not specialized. Yeah, this is not this is not right. Because I need to be able to tell him or he needs to be able to build things, because building things with wood is what the can the carpenter does. But this isn't carpentry, this is wood cutting specifically. So he won't do it if he's locked in. bit of a problem because I don't want everyone doing everything but I don't have enough people to have people really just sitting around for specific stuff all right uh plump helmets are for eating but not for drinking
Why are these backwards? Now we can start things. Still not constructing. Why is this happening? Are they resting or are they... People are sleeping. I don't want everyone planting. You're my you're my wood chopper man. You can't be planting stuff. What are you doing now? I don't understand. Everyone keeps sleeping. Anyone going to build this or, or what? Ain't got time to bleed. Actually, since it's made of stone, it'd probably be the mason who has to do it, but why isn't that happening? Slated for removal. It is not getting removed. You are hauling stuff around. Game. You know, this doesn't happen in regular door fortress. It's it's just messed up. That's the butcher. Worker, please. Well, shit. <laughs> this is this is not a good system. rename this and I gotta make like a thousand different little uh <laughs> All right. The toady one, you need to get in contact with dwarf therapist people and you need to put their dwarf therapist into the game. So what is orderlies? Like what do you do if you have orderlies on? I need to be able to see that. So I need one that's just like you're a normal human being, do everything. God. <laughs> this is the sort of thing that'll take hours to Customize, but it looks like you kind of have to do it, huh? Okay, so this is just exists. I know it's recovering, covering wounded. Does this mean going out and grabbing someone who's hurt? Or does this mean 
going to the bed for bed rest. Because it used to mean going to the bed for bed rest, but the way it's rephrased sounds like it's not. Okay, this is... Calling, etc. Then I need Carpenter. I don't know where chopping trees is. There's wood cutting on the sidebar. Which I suppose I just also have to see what, like, I don't need wood cutters, like. to pull levers though if someone tells you to pull a lever. You need to be able to build walls and construct. Construction's not on this list, but I think I guess it's considered carpentry, which is why he's not doing it. Probably not gonna build roads out of wood. Okay. Wood worker. Now, woodcutter on you is fine. You also need woodworker. Bada bing, bada boom. You're done, son. You're done. Now I need another one. This one is masonry, stone carving. I guess stone cutting is smoothing walls. It's new. I have no idea what it is. I gave him the ability to do it, but I don't know what it is. This is going to be about the same as the other person. Should be so they might need vehicles to do their job. I don't know. Once we build wheelbarrows, that is. Wait a minute, can I rewrite? No, I can't rewrite the custom ones. Okay. This is our mason. Okay. Worker, I'm also going to give you the push haul vehicles one. No, 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 no. What the hell? I keep sorting the list, man. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. Guessing if he has stone cutting, though, he probably doesn't need stone cutting in here. It would just be redundant. Yeah, the the Doty one, you need to just uh, hire the door therapist people to make this because this is bad. Now I gotta make custom work orders for every type of job people can do. All right, you do all that. You also do butchery. Animal dissecting up here. Yes. And the need all hands on deck on constructions and stuff. I don't know about that one. All right. 
Animal hauling's allowed for you. Water hauling's allowed. Food hauling's allowed. Does this include hunting? It's not on there. It's a separate thing, I know, but... Uh, butcher. Butcher goes to you. <laughs> what a pain in the ass, man. Farmer might be the only one who can, like... No, even him, I don't want him doing other things. Okay. My gathering is fine, but that's its own thing, too. I don't know if that includes farming, though. Where's planting, bro? This is cumbersome, man. Not my idea of a good time. What's left? Oh, fuck. I don't know who this person is. See, they did other people did jobs they weren't supposed to do, and now they're herbalists. And it's like, no, now I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Gotta go look at these people individually. All right. I have a farmer, I have a planter. Okay, you are not a planter, you are a cook and brewer, so I don't know why, why on earth you would think that you're the other thing, that you're not. Unfortunately, L is not the labor menu, by the way. Okay. Think you have butchery turned on? I don't know. King Brewing. Fish cleaning. Food hauling. Sure hope there's like 20 slots for these things because I need like 20 of them. If this is how you have your system set up, this is how I got to do it. I don't remember which one it's for. Her. No, here's the cook. Okay. And you are not the farmer. Oh, 
Metal worker's done. I see how they're all dabbling herbalists. Kind of annoying. Okay, so if I click on these, it at least tells me like who. So you're the one who's supposed to be the farmer. Last one less expedition leader. You're you're probably like one of the only ones who can do like all hauling, and I won't care. Even still, I don't know if you have like all of your your subtasks on. It's kinda like I don't know. I can't look into these and see like what they have turned on specifically. Like, I would assume that all fishing related is turned on, but it might not be. Okay. <laughs> now no one hauls now, but I guess people can have hauling turned on now that now that they'll do their other jobs too. It might not be as big a deal anymore. It's just they weren't doing everything they need to do involved with their job. Yeah, mine are you... Uh, you're like the mechanic, right? So I do still need one more. See how it's like... How messed up it is? <laughs> Eventually find it. There it is, mechanics. I guess architecture is gone. It's just not here. It's weird that it's gone, but not like something else. <laughs> just do things, people. Whew. You would not think it would be that hard. I don't know why that decision was made that's uh <laughs> that was a pretty bad pretty bad decision there that uh that needs some work now i can finally play the game but i have to do that like every time i make a new game too Whew. That is uh, not going to be fun. Team Wood, I suppose it's fine. Okay, we can probably do things again. need to expand the stockpile a bit because it's way smaller than intended. Alright. A new task. Make bed. Hoping we could copy it. Is this purely mouse interface? I'm just wondering if I could like... Uh, yeah, it's 
purely purely mouse interface on the Steam version. Maybe would have liked to have both available. Keeps getting bad. Can I expand the stockpile? Repaint it. Rock jugs. Or is it a pot? I don't remember. Rock. I think it's pots, actually. Now I think about it more. They're more like urns. They're not really pots. Stock pelvian. Oh, we don't know what's above. We exposed. No, we're not. It just kind of it kind of felt like we weren't like, oh, that's not great. We're okay. So I can do over here if I chose to. Okay. Although I don't know if it has to be square. It might have to be or rectangular. I might not be able to expand it more than that. That's all planted. That's all planted. Build workshop farming plot. Plot. Go. Yeah, it's the rock pots because they're not in there. Horn mechanisms. Why is there so much stone in here? This is like turned stone off, right? It's not all off, it's like busted. This one's right, but the other ones were not. I clicked on the wrong button, I guess. Dump. That would explain a thing or two about a thing or two. making my boring room for now. beyond break because he's not doing anything. I do see some beds, so let's build our beds. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, this is this is a little cumbersome. Oh, there is hotkeys here. FB. Keep building after and post. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, these rooms are not the correct size, but that's okay. Can we build a plan for a bed? Have enough room for eight beds here. Okay, things are working better now that I've made the the job orders, but Ugh. <laughs> Kind of like if they have a skill, they should. If they are skilled into something, that should automatically be something that they are tasked to do. I'm not really sure why it wasn't doing that in our when we were doing the tutorial run. This person's always getting mad. What's going wrong with you? On the rain, pestered by flies. Probably at the lack of chairs. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, you're just always getting upset. That is a good farming area, so I don't think I'm going to farm there. Let us start working on dumping stockpiles, the dumping grounds, and zoomed in like this. <laughs> like these feel gigantic, but they're not. They're actually pretty small. Like normally we're playing at like this size, maybe like this. That's why I missize everything. <laughs> Definitely too zoomed in. I think this is the default size by the looks of it. They are using the bridge, which is very good. You finish the beds. Kind of just sitting around not doing anything. Build. Okay, so there is some hockey still. Just not all of them. All right. Now, because people are getting very upset about it. Yeah, see, I can't use like a, a hockey in that menu though. Here, I have to go manually find it and takes a while. It'd be nice to be able to like, uh, I guess, okay, that's where it's at. Not quite perfect, but it'll do in a pinch. Let's see. I should be fine. Yeah, it's making a weird noise. That's my UPS. Turn it on, bud. My computer using that much power right now? So if you're not clicked onto the thing you're messing with, the hotkeys cause some issues.
It should probably automatically have your cursor clicked up here. In my honest and humble opinion. into this bridge, but I don't know. Things are going to cross when they cross. Oh, new season. It does remind me we need to get our depot built. A wall. Do, do, do. How do I deconstruct? <laughs> Constructions deconstruct. It's one of these in the past, so I'm not like. Oh, no, no. Can I dump it? Deconstruct. labor oh boy squads this is the squad many here you can create squads give their positions I pressed Q because Construct. Where are you? Do, 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 do. Anyone have any guesses? Gonna be here a while if we don't figure it out. Mm -hmm. There it is. That's in the damn mining menu. What? They constructed walls. Ooh. It's not constructed walls, man. It's, uh, this is dug out walls that this does it to. This isn't going to help with what I've got. I would remove the construction if I knew how, but hmm. doesn't exist. Ramps. We're out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. There's definitely some pretty big problems. Like for the most part, a lot of stuff is a lot better with like the mouse controls and stuff. 
but there is big issues of things that were very easy to do in the original game being very, very hard to do in this game. Like, there's no feasible way to deconstruct this wall as far as I can see. So, when in the other game, it was Q, and then you put your cursor over it. I can't, like, click on this or anything. And then, once you're on Q, you can press N and get rid of it. So that just takes us to, like, the noble screen, so... I don't know. I don't know how we deconstruct that. We are out of time for this video. Hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, or the stream actually. But if you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, hope you have a good day.